Previously on Sailing Solianus. After figuring out a plan to fix our boat's daggerboard, we needed to create a space to do the fiberglass work. With our current garage full of stuff and the boat barn yet to be built, we decided the lean-to attached to the garage would be the best place. But first, we need to replace its roof. This is what we got going on up here. You can see we've got a lot of rot on a couple of these rafters. But the cool thing is that these are full two by five and a half. These aren't little one and a half inch rafters. So they're still pretty sturdy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up sistering a couple of the, the really bad ones. This was an interesting but sad find. I think that egg's been abandoned. But this is the part we've had some mice or some rodents or something that got up here and tried to find their way inside. So my plan is I'm gonna cut across a couple of those sheets of sheathing on the garage here and replace a section of the plywood. I've been contemplating all my time make me tired just running through my mind Wonder if there's peace to I can find Instead of always being Piece of plywood mind. and the scab in there I need a new purpose I'm looking for so much more Don't leave me here searching You're just what I'm longing for Now it's time for the rafters getting crazy Everything seems hazy Is there some place for safe? I'm here. Oh. Hi. You coming in here? Yeah. Okay. I got shoes. It's very loud over here though. Okay. So, can you plug your ears? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I try that ladder? Sure. Looks like paint. It does look like paint. <laughs> I think somebody used it for painting at some point. Who did? Whoever owned it before we did. I've been making decent progress on this project the last couple of days. I got all the sheathing up uh, yesterday and I just started doing the ice and water shield. Um, actually, it's not even that. I'm just doing a tape, an adhesive tape because this is such a small project. They only sold it in giant rolls and realistically, this garage isn't gonna last very long. If we get 10 years out of it, I'll be pretty happy. Five years? Yeah. For now, I just I want to keep the weather off our things until we get our big, giant, beautiful barn right there. But I did the seam. Got to finish the detail over there. And then I'm going to do a second layer over the top. And then I'm going to bring down siding. So excited for there to be a giant barn here in just a month or a month and a half. We're getting all our quotes and everything sorted out. 
Uh, and we're gonna start construction soon. Got a little bit of tape left over, so I cut it in half and tried to use it to cover as many seams as possible. I'm trying to make uh, the most out of what I had. We got rain coming tomorrow, so I'm trying to get at least this tar paper on, or felt paper, or whatever it is. I'm gonna have to go get the other roll and a headlamp. Screw headlamps. I said, let there be light. night owl, but just kind of pushing it. 11 o'clock already, but it's raining tomorrow. Gotta get it done. All right, so that is the corner of our barn right now. Down, oh, it's, it's just off screen. You want me to Vanna White it? Yes, Vanna White it. <laughs> Over the last year, we've had endless discussions about the barn. And if the van wasn't in the way, we'd see the other one. <laughs> the location, the dimensions, what size roll door should we have? Should we have two? This gives us a good idea. How much space we have in the barn with the boat. We'd easily pull a tractor, and still have tons of room to work. I think this is great. Assuming we're able to maneuver the boat all the way to one side through one main middle door that's yeah. central. That's why I think we do a 14 by 14 foot door, not a 12. Okay. Do we want a loft or should we go for a barn aluminium? We thought extensively about this, but in the end decided against it because it would nearly double the cost of the barn up front. And what we really want one day is a house on the hill. What about a lean-to? We could still do a 10 or a 12 foot lean-to at some point in the future. And that's what I wanted to like leave room for. This is 12 feet right here. Or what about the barn's location in relationship to our current garage? This is our front wall right now, which is like perfectly in line with our garage door. That was the thing that I was trying to figure out how big our barn would be and if we'd still have access to pull straight in that way. There seemed to be a million considerations. Size, though, was one of our biggest discussions. All right, cool. All right so you get Chipter's nose. Everyone we talked to said build bigger than you think you need. But of course, bigger means more money, too. We needed to balance size with budget, and fluctuating lumber prices made the entire project a moving money target. It was enough to drive us batty. In the end, we decided on a 36 by 64 foot barn, which could conceivably fit a 37 foot trimaran in it one day. What you got? I'm at 57 feet. <laughs> hey Corsair, Dragonfly, looking at you. Cool, so we've got 10 extra feet, <laughs> 9 feet. Remember, you wanted to have a, a what width loft? I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look. I thought... I thought yeah. I was trying to convince you that 8 was plenty and you were like, no, 12 or 16. Right. So... But there is a good 10 feet between the beams. Right, and that's the... what I'm wondering. So like, how, how much is that? 48. Yeah, we can totally do a 12 foot. <laughs> well, beans. I think now we have all the measurements that we need to be able to start ordering stuff. Getting our wood package and mm. metal package and all that stuff. Mm -mm -mm. We've gotten mm -mm -mm. quotes of various sizes and different things, but now we, I think we know exactly. It'll only come down to price now if mm -hmm. we're just like, oh my God, prices have changed so much. 64 foot is too expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, figure out our electrical. <laughs> this is the last time we're gonna see it looking like this. Um, Babes, how exciting! We're gonna get the start of the barn. She, she's like, "Where are the bricks? Where are the walls?" <laughs> What are we looking for? Is that right there? Where Sand. it stops being black? Yep. Yeah. So you can go down to five inches probably. Cool.
we're almost done grading. We've got a level pad here. And we just spent the last 20 minutes trying to figure out why we can't square this building up. <laughs> Let them all up and look, yeah. Okay. So, this is our culprit right here. This is the same thing, okay. One foot, one foot. Yeah. <laughs> And it turns out one of our tape measures is short a foot. So somebody just cut it off? Yeah, someone broke the end and then they cut it off. So we don't actually have a large enough pad for our building. So this is the offending tape measure. Funnily enough, we just got this tape measure from my uncle calling you out. <laughs> it was my grandfather's. And I was like, that is so cool. I'm so stoked to have this tape measure from my grandfather. <laughs> Almost screwed up our measurements for our barn. So this green one was apparently the original stake, um, and it really should be here. So kind of have a ditch here for the end of our pad. So I'm really glad I trusted my gut. Something just felt off. We're gonna have a bummer of a conversation with our excavator, but I'm glad we found it out now. How often do you feel like something's a big deal and then it turns out it's really not? The excavators made the site the right size, then also graded a load of gravel to create a parking pad for Chip and her little Subaru. Everything turned out fine. I'm gonna fill this area in with some pea gravel. Now that we've got a nice solid rock base, we also had them level this area out down to about there because that was washing away like crazy. And now that we're gonna have a giant barn here that's gonna be shedding a ton of rain, it would have just pushed a bunch more rain down our driveway, which would have just turned it into a full-on river. Because right now, all of this soil is you know, absorbing rainwater, but we're gonna have a huge roof. Which, eventually, we should probably get some gutters and try and collect the rainwater off that, but we got far too many projects going all at once here to think that far ahead. This is the other project that I've been working on. So I've got about two thirds of this roof re-shingled. This probably isn't a steep enough pitch really to use shingles, but we had a full pallet of shingles down below stored in our lean-to. This had already been re-roofed uh, right before we bought the place. So what's better than free? It also gave me something new to try and learn how to do. I think I learned a lot about how vastly superior marine systems are to residential systems as far as like keeping moisture outside of your structure. Boats are in so much harsher conditions and there are so many more belt and suspenders to the way that a boat is constructed and the way that boats uh, keep water out of their materials. You know, like epoxy around all of your wood, like caulking everywhere. Don't rely on tapes because everything moves. Like, I don't know, it's just everything in this residential building supply just seems a little bit janky, lightweight, I suppose. But it's been interesting to learn about the contrasts and the similarities. The finishing touches on the last course here. Not the prettiest thing in the world. It's a little dirty still in a few places from being stored down in the lean-to for I don't know how many years. I left this little part here to remember I'm not a professional. But I did it, I finished it. I think it's gonna hopefully prevent this rot from happening again. So we moved the boat out of the way when the, uh, the excavator showed up. But we just sort of like quickly got it out of the way. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna spin it around about 90 degrees and back it up to this little hill that's right here so that when we unfold it and take it off the trailer, we're hopefully gonna be able to just like sort of step right up into the stern off the back of our hill um, so that we'll have easy access on and off while we're doing a little bit of work uh, over the next month or so. Um, and it will stay out of the way of everything that's going on over here uh, where we're working on the pole barn as well.
We are going to unfold the boat. <laughs> We've never done this before on land, so it's a little bit scary because we heard that it could roll off the trailer. We would like to prevent that from happening. Anything else preventing us from unfolding this, you think? I didn't check anything. Good, so we're all set. 